Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Dark Road 117 here. Uh, this video is going to be the video I promised from the last one. It's just basically uh, me going through my uh, Elemental Hero Gate deck and just explaining some things, showing you a couple combos I like to do, and yeah, just things like that. So if you want to see the actual deck list, go to my channel and click the Elemental Hero Decklist V2, because this is not a deck list. This is just combos and explaining stuff. So um, Prisma. I recently put him in the deck and I'm actually really liking how he works out in it. Um, for the example, uh, you're going to need a Elemental Hero Terra Firma, which I don't have, but it's Earth that uh, it's Earth Fusion that takes uh, E Hero Ocean and E Hero uh, Woodsman. But uh, why he's good is uh, you can reveal your Terra Firma from your extra deck. Uh, uh, targeting him wanting to be ocean so from your deck you can send uh, E Hero Ocean from your deck to graveyard so you have first turn if this is your first turn which is um, Prisma is your pretty much second option if you don't have Stratos to summon so this can either be your first or second turn because you can summon Stratos and search this out next turn activate his effect but Say first turn, this is your definitely section, second option to summoning uh, Stratos. So you now have your Prisma and your Ocean on the field and in the graveyard. So I really like to go into uh, Shining first turn. So what this allows you to do is if you did not get um, a Fusion Gate or two E Heroes in your hand, and you have a Miracle Fusion. This allows you to play a Miracle Fusion for both of these and get out a Shining on your first turn. Reasons I like this is because Shining is just um, hard to get his, around his effect. There's only some very few cards that can actually do it. Unless they're gonna first turn Chaos Source U slash BLS and remove him, Soul Taker, or um, Set a Raiko, which you can still get around other ways because you have to set it. Um, it's extremely good first turn because if it's just sent to the graveyard, you get these back in your hand. You can summon out Prisma again and activate his effect again and just get more heroes that you can work with. So that's one of the uh, very early plays, just very simple um, plays you can uh, do. And what's nice about it, the ocean that's just sent to your graveyard, you get it removed. And when Shining is destroyed, it's a plus one when you get to your hand because it was just sent to the graveyard by Prisma. So, I'm um, just going to do another simple play. Is, uh, say you have your Shining out. I have one right there, but whatever. Uh, shining out. And you have your two ones you removed. Say it was those. And you have a Voltic in your hand. And say for this play, we're going to have a mass change in the hand. So obviously, we're going to summon out a uh, Voltic. And he brings back the remove from plays when he inflicts damage. So if they have a monster, attack over it with um, uh, Shining. Unless you can, it's in attack position and you can attack over it with Voltic then do that, but if it's in defense or higher than Voltic, kill it with the Shining, and then inflict damage with Voltic so you get his effect, you're able to get back Elemental Hero Stratos or Elemental Hero Ocean, this is where the choices happen, um, we want to remember we have mass change in the hand, so uh, Stratos, if we bring him back, we can either pop back row or um, uh, search and Elemental Hero Hoshin, he does not have effect when he's summoned, so nothing would happen. But we do have mass change, so we want to make a good choice here. And uh, the obvious choice is Ocean, because you can summon him. And if he was to get bottomless or anything, if this is going to poke for game, they're going to want to... Uh, warning... Um, well, they can't if it's going to poke for game, but they're going to want to bottomless him. Going to want to torrential your field or something so you can if it's bottomless you can mass change him out for 
menstrual acid and it's not going to hit acid because it was targeting ocean but and then acid's going to take out the rest of their back row and if they say they torrential on this play instead of bringing out acid you can bring out vapor these two would go to the graveyard and you can attack again with vapor and possibly for game for the, these kind of plays so that's one of the plays so we're gonna set up the same play again with uh, the Elmateer Ocean Stratos and Voltic in hand but instead of uh, the mass change in hand we're gonna have a super poly and um, that that's it in hand so these are the only two in hand so we're gonna obviously want to summon Voltic again um, again you want to uh, make Voltic able to inflict damage so kill a monster with him if uh, Voltic can't run over him in attack position then inflict damage with Voltic so again the choice is um, not obvious right now but when we look at our hand super poly we definitely want to get Stratos because this is the reason you summon out Stratos you do not want to use his uh, blow up effect you want to add a elemental hero to your hand so you now have um, Prisma and Super Poly in your hand so say they torrential now um, but actually let's say they bottomless you can Super Poly discard your new card from uh, Stratos fuse them together and get another shining now these guys are both at 2900 but that's okay because you have two shinings out and you can get you still have the option to get back an ocean if they're gonna so say that's what you do if they bombless if they torrential um, that's this play is not really gonna work out in your favor at all so you're gonna have these two in your hand and you look at our options that we can go to we can either go into a wind um, fusion or a light fusion so that's either these two and that's not going to work out for you anyway so torrential can completely pull this play up so um you you want to be wary of that when going for this play so yeah pretty much uh be wary of that but if your opponent has no back row and then you can just explode with this play so we're gonna rewind a bit so we're gonna inflict we're gonna run over inflict damage bring back shadows search inflict damage um, activate super poly targeting these two because they already both attacked discarding that bringing out shining and then attacking for another 2900 so just inflicting maximum damage that game up to let's say 32 1000 18 and then 29 so that's pretty much game if you're already inflicted damage I'm not sure if that's 8000 I'm not that quick with math but yeah that's a lot of damage for just one play so that's um, some of the basic plays other plays just you can do with fusion gate are just really really simple you just have a uh, first turn fusion gate and first turn stratos summon out your stratos you get uh, your light uh, elements of hero either this Voltic or alias usually gonna want to get Prisma remove them and then bam just first turn shining shining is destroyed back to your hand remove them again get another shining and like these shinings are definitely not dead in the grave if they keep just keep getting destroyed because these get back and you can keep our uh, recycling stratus effect and doing it again and the shinings can definitely be removed with miracle fusion so yeah keep that in mind um let's see any other big plays i want to talk about just got your basic searchers in the deck to uh, make everything happen. Oh, yeah, one last play. That's really good. Let me just get all the cards out here. You got your 
Stratos in first hand and Safe Zone in first hand. So, gonna summon out your Safe Zone, and when you have Safe, I'm not summon out Safe, summon out Stratos. And when you summon out Stratos and you have Safe Zone in your hand, you um, the card you're always gonna want to search out is Ocean, just because you can summon out your Stratos and set your uh, Safe Zone the first turn. And say on their turn, Stratos will get destroyed. Do not use the Safe Zone on it ever. You're going to want to wait for you to be able to summon your uh, ocean and uh, just leave him there. Attack if you want to. Um, just be wary of things that can destroy him. And when on their turn, say he would be destroyed by something, you can safe zone him. So he would survive to your turn. And then his effect would activate. Get Stratos to your hand. Use Stratos effect again. Switch him to defense, so you're not going to be able taking any damage from him. Stratos keeps getting destroyed, or you fuse out with him or something, with uh, uh, who knows what, and you can keep getting him back to your hand from your field or your grave, so it doesn't matter if he gets destroyed or not. And you can just keep getting, plusing all your elemental heroes to your hand, um, just constantly, until they are able to destroy safe zone or remove from play Stratos. So yeah, that's uh, the one last play um, that you can do with this deck. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of more options, but they're a little more obvious and I'm sure self-explanatory for you guys. So that's just what I'm going to go over for this one. So thank you for watching. Uh, look out for my Dark World deck profile and the combo fest for that one. So thank you guys for watching and see you later.